Hey everybody, it's Joe from SittingDuckPolicy.com. Today I'd like to show you the Blackhawk Serpa CQC holster. Really comfortable, very concealable, and does a really, really good job holstering and securing my weapon. Let's go take a look. Blackhawk Serpa CQC holster. This is a uh, quote-unquote high-performance carbon fiber composite holster, meaning it's basically made out of a plastic-like material. It's very lightweight and very strong. This particular holster fits the Glock 29, 30, and 39 and is the right-handed model. I believe they have a left-hand model as well, and they also have other models to fit other guns, uh, other Glocks, and uh, other uh, manufacturers of firearm as well. But first and foremost, let's talk firearm safety. This is a firearm. You'll notice I'm keeping my finger very far away from the trigger. If I don't pull the trigger, it will not go bang. First and foremost, this is an unloaded weapon. There is no round in the chamber. So now that we know that this gun is unloaded, I can show you a whole bunch of stuff. Before you do anything with firearms, make sure you're handling it safe. This is the holster. This is what's called a level 2 retention holster because it has a retention mechanism to hold the gun in the holster. It physically locks the gun in place. If someone comes up to pull on the gun to try and unholster it, it's not going to come unholstered unless you push this button right here while you are pulling the gun out. Before we get into the details of that, here is the paddle attachment. It has three screws and there's a lot of adjustability also has these little pins here which grab onto your belt. So your belt goes through here and is held down very well. You've got another hook down here that holds on to the inside of your pants. So when you pull the gun out, it's holding on to your, your pants and your belt very well. I've never had a problem with security. Um, it's always felt very, very secure. If you want, you can use this attachment, which is a belt loop attachment. These little guys right here are adjustable, so you can scoot them up and down to fit whatever width of belt that you want. And just like the paddle, it's adjustable, so you can adjust the cant of the holster. I like the paddle. Uh, I thought it would be a lot easier to take on and off, but these guys do a really good job, and it doesn't come off very easily at all. But let's go on to the retention mechanism. What you've got down here is this lever. You can't see it very well, but it actuates this little holding device. That actually fits inside the trigger guard, and it holds the gun in place. So let's go ahead and holster it up. Remember, this is an unloaded gun. We just checked that. So I'm sliding this down in place. You'll hear it click, and now it's secure. Doesn't matter how much pulling I do, I'm not getting that gun out of that holster. But when I need to, I put my finger right there alongside, indexing the barrel, and the firearm comes straight out. So watch that again. I index my finger, and it's just very natural. As I go down to grip the firearm, the button is depressed, and I pull straight out. Very slick very easy. Luckily I've never had to draw from this holster for a defensive situation but I really like the fact that it's got that extra level of retention. The bad guy isn't gonna know that you push that button unless of course he's watching my video right now in which case you know we're all kinda stunk but hey not to worry level 2 just gives you that one extra level of physical retention to get your firearm out. So, very nice. I like it a lot. The holster, again, is the Serpa CQC from Blackhawk. This is going to run you right around $40, and it is worth every single penny. I'd recommend it highly. So, again, for SittingDuckPolicy.com, I'm Joe Levi.